I'm currently enrolled in the California Institute's Integral Studies PhD program for Transformative Studies. It has been an incredible program so far, but it is a ton of reading and writing and requires that I stay organized with all of my sources. I've gone through a bit of a quest looking at various reference software, including Mendeley, EndNote, ReadCube papers, and ended up sticking with Zotero. While the software is not near perfect, it allows me to do most of the work from my iPad and integrate Siri shortcuts into my writing process. My name is Jacob Campbell, and I want to give you a bit of an overview of Zotero and show you how I am integrating it into my writing. I am still in the process of determining exactly what I'm going to do for my dissertation, but I know I want to focus on resilience. Resilience is a topic that spans multiple disciplines and benefits from taking a transdisciplinary approach to understanding it. Transdisciplinarity as a research method is a significant focus of my PhD program. In some broad strokes, Montori talking about the complexity of uh, transdisciplinarity and transdisciplinary literature reviews describes four dimensions that scholars should consider. First, he talks about inquiry-based rather than discipline-based. That means that there is uh, a focus on the inquiry topic versus uh, remaining within a specific discipline. Second, he talks about integrating uh, rather than eliminating the inquirer from the inquiry. The, the person who is actually conducting the research has valuable information to be able to come and to share and include in the academic research process. He describes it thirdly as being meta-paradynamic rather than intra-paradynamic. And really what that means is that uh, instead of looking within a specific paradigm or a paradigm that is related uh, specifically to a discipline, that it is looking at paradigms as they relate to the whole. Oftentimes that means looking from a systems perspective. Uh, which is his fourth uh, dimension that's discussed. He describes that applying systems and complex thoughts rather than reductive or disjunctive thinking uh, is another dimension of uh, transdisciplinary research. This complexity requires a lot of diving into research to be able to synthesize and understand an enormous amount of data and information from the various disciplines that I look at and understand. Uh, a part of how I organize my research is using Zotero. While I am not over the moon for Zotero, I like it better than all of the other ones out there. Zotero is a reference management software their Mac app is pretty good, and I mostly like it. I slightly prefer the management that Mendel Mendeley does in storing the academic PDFs I was throwing at it, saving them as files on my disks, uh, and each in folders separated by authors. Zotero also stores all of the PDFs on my Mac in folders, and it just arranges them by numbered folders versus author names. Either way, the app makes it easy to find all of my journal articles and digital materials. I spend most of my academic writing on my iPad. I mostly write in drafts, which is an amazing and versatile note-taking app that is the first place almost any text I ever write goes. If you look below, I, there's a link to the blog post that I'm writing as a part of this video. There are tools to look up words in Lookup. Lookup is a beautiful Siri shortcut enabled dictionary thesaurus 
I, I have methods for copying Markdown, converting it to HTML to post well-formatted text to Canvas for my discussion questions, a tool for checking titles for correct capitalization, some JavaScript to count the number of words and check if a quote needs APA's required block quote formatting and more. Related to Zotero, I have an action that opens a shortcut that allows me to search all of my Zotero databases for an article I have found. I like the website for Zotero, and it is one of the primary reasons I ended up leaving the other reference management software for Zotero. It even recognizes the difference between if I have a mouse attached to my iPad and am viewing the database, or if I touch the screen with my big meaty fingers. Uh, this is not going to, this video is not going to try to show you all of the features, but maybe some of them. The majority of the way I find articles in Zotero is by searching for them. I don't use the tags feature, but it could be incredibly useful. For example, I could tag all of the articles that have the theme of resilience in it. And from a transdisciplinary mode of thinking, I could also tag each one of them uh, with their corresponding discipline. Collections can also be helpful. They are like a more concrete set of tags that show only items that have been added to a specific group. You manually add items to a collection, which is kind of like a folder that, you, that has your PDF inside of it, but that PDF is also inside your library as well. I use the notes field sometimes, uh, posting thoughts and ideas related to papers I'm reading. I can quickly reference the PDF right off the website. If I edit the PDF and add annotations, it will sync that across all of my devices. If I'm sitting down to read an article for the first time, I will usually read it in Papership, which is a third-party PDF reading app that connects to my Zotero account. All in all, I like Zotero. If you have to do any significant writing projects, you have to have a way to store and organize your sources. I'm curious about re what reference management software do you use to keep your reference materials? If you like this content, consider liking and subscribing. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.